English phrases explained, beaten into shape. Hello and welcome to our English learning series. Today, we're diving into an intriguing phrase, beaten into shape. This phrase has a fascinating history and usage in the English language, and understanding it can add depth to your English skills. So, let's explore what it means, where it comes from, and how you can use it in your everyday conversations. Beaten into shape is an idiomatic expression used to describe a process where something is shaped, improved, or perfected through a series of hard or rigorous steps. The term originates from the process of blacksmiths shaping metal. They would literally beat the metal into its desired shape. In modern usage, the phrase is often used metaphorically to describe a person or process undergoing a tough transformation to achieve a better state. To help you understand how to use beaten into shape in context, let's look at some examples. 1. Educational context. The new curriculum is still being beaten into shape. It's undergoing several revisions based on feedback. 2. Personal development. He felt like his character was being beaten into shape during his years in the military. 3. Workplace scenario. Our project plan was initially rough, but after many discussions, it was beaten into shape. In each of these examples, the phrase is used to indicate a form of development or improvement that is achieved through hard work and refinement. It's important to note that beaten into shape can carry a somewhat harsh or violent connotation because of the word beaten. Therefore, it's crucial to use this phrase in appropriate contexts where it clearly reflects a process of improvement or transformation and not actual physical harm. And that's a wrap on beaten into shape. I hope this video has helped you understand and feel confident in using this phrase in your English conversations. Remember, learning a language is a bit like being beaten into shape. It takes time, effort, and a lot of practice. But the results are always worth it. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next English language adventure.